Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you to part 20 of Let's Play Fire Emblem for the Substitute Run! We are about to deal with a whole buckload of Pegasus... no, not Pegasus Knights. The, 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 the badass kind, the Dragon Riders, yes. They are quite nasty. Uh, this squad has Iron Lances, while this squad has Javelins. So it's advisable to send someone with a ranged weapon to counter the Javelin users. In fact, I'm considering sending Hawk to deal with them. Uh, if he can get anywhere. I might be able to dance for him. Um, like, Hawk has a very nice amount of avoidance. I'm also considering sending... Um, or putting Linda, perhaps? To guard this fortress right here. Um, her avoidance is very good. And if she... Like, she doesn't have ambush, but... I don't know, I feel like maybe she can do something. Or I could put Jehovah in the mountains. That is that is also a way to do it. Like, these mountains do give 30 avoid. Same as the uh, throne. So that's something. But I think I'll... Um, I'll send Selyse over here. Uh, since these guys have javelins, they can just attack Selyse anyway. Uh, but if I can somehow get Hawk into these forests right here, then he should be able to, to, to do a lot, I think, because he has a lot of avoids. He has 40 avoids. This lightning is also a very good tome, uh, although it has a very tedious animation. It has great stats on it. Um, I think I'll just keep that on him. He also has Pursuit and Continue, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, these guys are kind of tough, so I need to, to prepare properly. However, I'm going to go use Daisy to help some more of the villagers. You're a brave warrior! Thank you so very much! Also, I am aware that Selyse and uh, Mana uh, would have been able to have a conversation. What? Seriously? No level ups? Fuck you, Daisy. Uh, Selyse and Mana would be able to do a co initiate a conversation with each other right now. I don't think... Yeah, there is one with Famine and Hawk. But I can't get it because uh, they would need not to be in love. I kind of rushed the, the love a little bit too early. If they weren't lovers at this point, they could have talked to each other again. 100 level points and Mana would have got 5 luck. But I missed out on that conversation, sadly. So that, that sucks, but there's nothing I can do about that. Now, I'm actually considering... Um, throwing Rotoban at these guys uh, with his fire sword, but the problem is they'll, ha they'll they'll have a weapon triangle advantage against him. And they have a hit of 78. His avoidance isn't that good. I think I'll just use Hawk, to be quite honest, but I need to get Selyse away from here first. So let's check these guys' range. If I can get Selyse into this forest right here, then he should be really good. I just gotta double check that really quickly. Yeah, that's a safe spot for Selyse. Then I'll have Hawk leave. Um... I need to make sure that Layla can actually get down there. Actually, she can get down there. So if Hawk can get up here, that's actually really good. Um, I'll move Rodelban and uh, Radney up here. They are sword users, so they don't really have a lot of stuff to do right now. But they can stay stay behind just in case. We'll move. Uh, we'll keep Finn ready to deal with these guys. But right now, I want Hawk to move. Actually, I want kind of want him to move up here. There we go. Oh, we can actually... We should probably dance for as many people as possible. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Now, I could certainly send Linda into the forest. Now, uh, into the fortress. There's there's not a lot of guys who can attack Linda. Uh, I think she'll be good, actually. Let's, let's, let's put her into the fortress. We do want to protect it. We can keep... Uh, we can keep Jehovah right here with his hero axe. That sounds like a plan to me. And I can do this. And then I'll go and dance with these guys. And oh, that means I can keep my archer ready to fire. So, he, so uh, Dimna can... Oh, fuck, Dimna's at very low health. I need to heal him up. Um, okay. Where are you, mana? There you are. Let's see. Relieve. I did get her the silent stuff, didn't I? Pretty sure I got her the silent stuff. I gotta check that out. Anyway, now Dimna's healed up. That's good. I gotta be careful that I don't uh, overlook stuff like that. Magic defense. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what she she gets. Uh, yeah, she does have the silent stuff, so that's good. Uh, we'll send Amid down here. Maybe I should just talk to one of these guys with Amid. I don't know. I feel like he can get experience on his own. Anyway, I'm gonna send uh, Hawk. Here, he is a pre-promoted sage, but he could still use the experience, I suppose. 
Alright, there we go. Is everyone ready? I do... No. Yeah, okay, I'm moved for Mina. But there is this fucking thief with the wing clipper that stands in my way. That is annoying as fuck. We'll have to see. Here comes the civilians. They're gonna run away. I'm actually not sure where they're planning to go. <laughs> Guess I'll find out. Alright, this is kind of what I hoped. Uh, Hawk will be able to take care of these guys. 0% chance to hit. Well, that's convenient, I suppose. You know, I really like the light magic tone, but it but it has such a tedious animation. <laughs> but hey, whatever works, right? So, Hawk should be able to deal with these guys fairly easily. He is a really good unit, despite being a pre-promote. I mean, like, seriously, the pre-promote rule doesn't really apply in this game, to be quite honest. It is... Is that the... No, that's not... Okay, these guys have a mind control... Oh, god, they actually hit Hawk. That's not nice. But Hawk will double these guys, and he might also proc continue, so... He will probably decimate the entire squad. I mean, the captain might be a little bit nasty, I'm actually not sure. But his base stats are really solid. Yeah, the rest of them I plan to take down with the rest of the guys. Okay, here comes the Javelin. Javelins are terrible in this game, their stats are really low. So they have diff great difficulties hitting things. There you go, Hawk. Triforce Attack of Doom. There's another guy dead. And the first level of Hawk. Hawk's growths are not bad. At least not as far as the pre promote is concerned. Speed defense, magic defense. Yeah, he, he will cap speed. And most likely will cap magic as well. Which is really good for a Sage, you know. Sage with capped out speed is incredibly nasty. Alright. Uh, and let's face it, Pursuit and Continue. Two really great skills to have. If I could pick any two skills I wanted, probably pick Pursuit and Continue on most units. I mean, it's such a nice combination of skills to have. Okay, I, if I could pick any skill I wanted, I'd pick uh, Darkness Sword or Meteor Sword. But yeah, if you don't know, there's a hidden skill in this game called Darkness Sword. Uh, Shin incorporated it into his hack, because the files for the Darkness Sword are in the game. It was just never used. It's a really overpowered ability that has the uh, same chance to proc as uh, Meteor Sword. Oh, what's going on here? Um, I'll just continue talking about Darkness Sword. And whenever it activates, it has a chance of doing uh, double damage when you attack. Or, uh, it can also proc when the enemies attack you, in which case it will reduce damage taken by uh, 20. So it's both an offensive and a defensive skill. It's really fucking overpowered. Noish had it in the Shin patch, which made him a really good unit. Sir, is everything alright? Master Castle is just ahead. We shall pre proceed as planned. Gokuruja, wait! These are my citizens we're up against. We shouldn't be fighting them. Wait for me here. I'll try to get them to lay down their arms. I don't think so, sir. I've received strict orders from the king. Regardless of what you may have to say, I'm not allowed to let up on the attack. I am in command here. Do you wish to disobey me? This is my squadron. If you wish to not get involved, then step aside. Troops, prepare to attack. Remember, no survivors. No! Wait, Kurita! Yeah, if you try to attack um, Altana, she will simply dodge no matter what. Alright, here comes... Is that Kuruta? No. Oh my god, 31% chance to hit. actually don't like those odds. Alright, Linda actually doesn't one-shot them. That is sad. Mm, okay, well... It's gonna be up to Jahalwar then. Well, wait, these guys have swords. No, they actually have lances. Okay. Um, well, you're gonna be completely wrecked. <laughs> okay. Ah, I should perhaps be able to uh, mop up the, the rest of the squadron. If I can get enough attacks in. Jahalvar has amazing defense. He lives up to his near holy blood. And uh, he's going to be the first one to hit 30, I think. Well, actually, no, he doesn't have his Elite's uh, ring anymore, so he may not be the first after all. He did sell it. I forgot that Radney has it now. Uh, maybe Drahalvar shouldn't have taken all these kills, come to think of it. I wonder, actually, how many kills his uh, Hero Axe has gotten right now. It has to be quite a lot at this point. Is this the boss? Yeah, this is the boss. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but you're going to die. Generic boss code is generic. Alright, we gotta save this village somehow. That thief fighter is going to be a problem though. 
Yeah, I do believe I did, did showcase Altena in the previous episode. Yeah, you can't get to her. If you try to attack her, she will just automatically dodge. Now, I can't fight this guy. Um, he will just kill me. So, I'm not really sure what I should do here, actually. I suppose I should just go combo Jan and try to kill a thief fighter that way. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. I'll just leave Famina here. I do believe this is the village that gives you the, uh, that gives you the thief bracelets. So I should definitely give that to a unit with monetary problems. Alright, I'm just gonna keep talking to these guys with Daisy. Please try to help Hawk if you can. I will, little lady, I will. Alright, you better... Seriously, Daisy, that's the second level up with no stats. Holy fuck, I'm starting to regret giving you these guys. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, um... Well, um, I suppose... We can start by killing this dude. He's low on health, so might as well. And then I'm wondering if I should perhaps just attack the boss with Jahalvar, just to get rid of his leadership stars. I don't even know how many leadership stars he has. He has no leadership stars. Okay. Altana is the one with the leadership stars, not him. Okay, then it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, who's the... This is the captain, though. He has one leadership star, which doesn't really make a blind bit of difference in the end. But I'll still kill the captain for fun, I suppose. Uh, but I should move in with Celise first. There we go. Go, you amazing Lord Knight, you. My god, Solis is so fucking strong right now. He is actually a little bit too good. If that's a thing. Alright, we can uh, use... Oh crap, really? Our silo is not in range? Well, we'll put him into dancing range then. Oh, seriously? He's not within range either? Okay. I would prefer to wait, but I have to attack now, I think. I suppose I could kill the boss with someone else. I don't really want to get a retaliate on Hawk. Not when the boss has a 40% chance to hit. It's simply too scary. There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. He is dead. The Hawk still gets a decent amount of experience from these guys, which is nice. Um, can I put someone there? No, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, that kind of ruins everything. Alright, I'll just dance for these guys then and use these guys to take down the remaining guys. Sounds like a plan. If I move Drahalvar up here... Oh, he can't move up here. Wait a minute, he has his steel bow. How much damage does it will he do? Uh, he'll do 35 damage, which will be doubled thanks to the critical. I think that's going to be enough to kill him, actually. Yep. Oh, okay, five hit points left. Oh, wow, he proc charge. That's a nice... Glory to Trisha! <laughs> That's actually really nice. Oh, wait a minute, does this guy have any, any, any lootable items? Because I didn't quite check for that, did I? Hit points, skill. Oh, he's the one who dropped the hero sword. Wait, what? Oh, didn't one of these guys drop the hero bow? Was that Solis? Seriously, did I... I just have to check really quickly. Um, I specifically... Oh, right, Dimna has the hero bow. Never mind, he already has it. Uh, which he should be able to kill this guy outright. Dead. Wow, these guys got absolutely wrecked. A level up for Dimna. Hit points, strength, and D. God, he's so tanky. He is so ridiculously tanky, it's insane. Alright, that's a hello. That's a dead wyvern. Okay, yeah, he just attacks again. I have way too many archers on my side for these guys to be any threats. And a level up for as hello. Hit points, luck, and magic defense. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. And we have to kill this guy, of course. Can't leave him alive. Go, young Lord Knights. Use your father's amazing silver sword of justice. <laughs> Look how fast Salise is. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay, so Ahmed might be able to get a continue crit on this guy. That would be nice. 
Come on, continue. Continue. Yes! Perfect. I'm being really lucky right now. Extremely lucky. Uh, have I spoken? Yeah, I've spoken to these two fuckers. Um, let's just go down here. She has to return stuff now, so I constantly believe someone can be healed, but that's not the case. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about Ahmed, to be quite honest. There's three Vyvern Knights remaining. And he is not exactly super tanky, so... That's not great. Alright, we'll see how it goes. First, the civilians are gonna try to escape. I hope they're not planning to go into the castle, are they? Actually, not sure. Okay, this guy goes for Hawk. That's not gonna go well for him. I should perhaps give Hawk some other tomes as well. The Lightning Tome is good, but it's also extremely expensive. Um, although it is super effective against all kinds of magic, so it is in that regards a very good tome. But I suppose an Elf Fire and Elf Thunder wouldn't hurt either. Okay, these guys are going for Linda, that's completely fine. Oh my god, 41% chance to hit? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh wow! Okay, don't do that, please. Oh god damn it, no. Oh no 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 stop 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 stop. Oh Jesus Christ, no. No 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 no. Please tell me you're joking right now. Oh god fucking damn it, this is not good. No. Oh god damn it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so lucky. Yeah, she is still pretty darn squishy. She's not really a frontline unit, that's for sure. Hit points, speed, luck, and defense. But that level up certainly helped, though. That was a really good level up. Holy crap. Okay. Whew. That was actually, uh, that was actually super scary. Okay, now I need to see if I can take care of this thief fighter. Uh, I'll equip my thunder sword, I suppose. And see, I don't really want to go anywhere near this guy. I could throw a javelin and then return back, I suppose. But this guy has amazing stats. He is very, very cruelly placed. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is scary. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, look at Solis. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Alright, I'm gonna take this guy down, will you? Yeah, I, I, I think I'll just run down with Solis and aggro the squad, I suppose. He's... I could just run down with him and kill the ballistas. That sounds like a plan, actually. Uh, but first, let's go and heal. We should probably visit the village with... Do we really want to visit the village with Layla? I don't think so. First, let's go help this guy. Sir Salise's Liberation Army? Yes! You made it! And Patty? Sorry, Daisy. You better start leveling up now. There we go. Well, at least that's something. Hit points and magic defense. Um, still, I don't think this village has anything special in it. Um, fine, we'll visit it with Hawk. Tracia's been after this area for as long as I can remember. The royal family of Leinster and the holy gay borg, gay boy, which kept us safe, however. Unfortunately, the gay boy was lost when Quan and Athlin and their old daughter Atalna were ambushed in the Yid Desert. Ah. Straight up telling me that uh, Altena is uh, the daughter, are you? Um, let's actually see. Are there any? Are there any good? We can might as well repair the silver sword while we're here. Are there any good? Um, are there any good items for sale? I'm thinking hawk, really. Thunder staff. That's not really great. But hawk can use staves, actually. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, I'll just send Celise down here and aggro the squad, I suppose. We'll move down with everyone else too. The ballistas aren't really dangerous to Celise. But they can be dangerous to other units. There we go. 
Let's see if we can actually make them uh, come to us, so we can fight on our terms and not theirs. Always a nice tactic to employ. I don't really feel like dancing for anyone this turn. It doesn't, I don't really want anyone to move any further down. But I'm hoping that the, top, the fighter thief goes for um, for Jan. That would be really nice. Uh, no. I wonder who should get the thief bracelet, actually. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, Thief Fighter doesn't really do much against Jan. I keep... I keep... Uh, I, maybe I should turn Jan's animations on, I don't know. Um, however, what I can do right now... Is I can ride past and I can actually use my Thunder Sword. Which is really good on Jan, since she has the magic for it. She should be able to two-shot this guy. Save the village. And I could just keep attacking this Fighter Thief, I suppose, with uh, Femina. There we go. Oh, nice. Continue. Oh, really nice. Now, of course, what? Seriously, the fighter thief didn't steal my gold. Doesn't Jan have any gold? Oh crap! It's still. Oh no, it stole all my gold. All right, I'll just visit the villages with Jan then, I suppose. Run, Salise. Oh crap. Um, <laughs> that was probably a mistake. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright, I'll just move down, I suppose. Mm, did I heal up Tinny? No, not return. I don't want you to return. No, I didn't heal up Linda, I mean. Linda. Not Tinny. I keep messing up the substitutes with the, uh... With the real children. All the time. Although, I gotta say, my substitutes are actually getting really fucking good right now. I mean, many of them are... Pretty darn decent. Okay, last civilian. Then we're gonna go down to the other ones. Cheers to Sir Salise! I swear, uh, Daisy, you better get a good level up right now. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, four levels until she promotes at least, so, you know, maybe she'll stop being a terrible unit. Then, ah, who am I kidding? She's still gonna be a terrible unit. Alright, I'm not sure if the Dragon Squad will actually attack me right now. They might. Ah, yes, they will definitely attack me right now. Um, oh, crap. This is actually not that good. Um, oh, wow. Okay, this is the... Wow, why in the world would he attack Selyse in melee range? That doesn't make any sense at all. Hmm... That does not make any sense. Huh. I don't know why some of those guys do that. I mean, they're like, oh, I'm on attack in melee! And then that happens. So, you know, I, I guess they didn't learn that shit in vibrant school or whatever. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't mind. <laughs> I really don't mind. What's really weird about the ballistas is how sometimes they choose not to attack. I've never really understood that one, I gotta say. That always felt really weird to me. Like sometimes they will just stand there and do nothing. Other times they will attack. It annoyed the shit out of me in the uh, when I played the game for the first time with my friends because we couldn't figure out the AI and it was really, really frustrating. Extremely frustrating, in fact. Okay, uh, Slees can take a lot of punishment, but I still... I'm still a little bit afraid if he gets hit by a lot of ballistas, he could still go down, so I should be a little bit careful right now. He's not invincible. He's just really darn close to being an invincible, and now he just leveled up again, so now he's level 23. Hit points, luck, and magic defense. My god, he's so good. Here comes the boss. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about, really. If they Can they even... Ah, oh, 0% chance. Okay, never mind. Instantly, right now, I am thinking to myself, Oh no, the fatigue. <laughs> Shows I've been playing too much Fire Emblem 5. Well, I think I'll just make a cut here and mop up these ballistas off-screen, and then I'll move on to the boss. Sounds like a plan.
All right, here we are again. Um, I just decided to mop up this entire forest. So, like, this chapter has always been very anticlimactic towards the end. It's a really generic, shitty final boss. I mean, compared to King fucking Bloom, I mean, Bloom should have been the final boss in this mission. I don't really understand why they decided to make it this annoying guy. And is these guys are just really underleveled and very easy to clear out. I've always disliked the end of this chapter. It always felt so weird to me, like very strangely planned out. Um, I've decided that I'm going to give the killer bow to Asylo. I mean, he does have the silver bow, which is really good, but I think he'll benefit more from a killer bow. I mean, it has four or less mites, uh, but it has the critical skill, which is extremely good. So, I am just gonna uh, use Salisa's leadership aura as well as Layla's charisma. But I'm gonna see how well Asylo fares against this boss. Pretty darn well, actually. With some healing, he'll be just fine. Uh, you know, he's probably gonna proc some extra attacks and stuff like that, which is always nice. Um, maybe I'll even steal his gold. However, before we initiate that fight, we have a conversation. Let's go get that. I do believe it's for me. Isn't it? No, this is Ahmed. Ah, oh, fuck me, this is Hawk. <laughs> yeah, right. I think it's... I don't really know which one of them has to initiate. Okay, it's Femina. Okay, cool. Hawk, is that you? It's me, your sister! Femina? What's going on? What are you doing here? I'm here looking for you! What could I do? You never once returned home after you left! I'm sorry, Femina. I wandered into Manster while looking for our father, and the people were just so bad off, I just couldn't leave them. That's just like you, something you do, Hawk. No wonder I love you so much. So you joined the Liberation Army, did you? Yep, I wanted to help out Sir Sleese. Hmm, <laughs> I'm not surprised. You've admired his father ever since you were little. Yeah, my dream has always been to become a Pegasus Knight, just like Fury was. Wait, Fury? You just watch, I'm going to make it. Was one, is that Hawk who just got a luck? Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's go get the tree. I might as well just get it on John, I suppose. Well, for land's sake, what bring you to this neck of the woods? I reckon you're the curious type. Well, you did come all this way. Hey, I try this on for size. It's called a thief bracelet. You'll be thieving in no time with this fine accessory. You're the kerna, you hear? Ho, ho, ho. I always love that village. Then I'll just visit the remaining village with Femina, I think. Sounds like a plan. All right, final boss time. Mykov. Most generic final boss of all time. This is our land. Are you trying to take it all for yourselves? I am Michael. Very generic. There you go, Silo. You show him his boss. Oh crap, he just broke charge, didn't he? I think he did. I'm pretty sure that was a charge. Pretty sure that's the definition of a charge, if I ever saw one. That's fine, I can attack him again, and I can always dance. He struggles. I think I'm gonna have to do that. The fucker will probably proc Great Shield a few times. Yep. There we go. This is a okay. He's actually not quick, quick enough to double the guy. But I want to attack with only Asylo because I want to make sure he gets the killer bow. I mean, I could always just kill the boss and then just get it with someone else. It's and I can just buy it, but, you know, it saves me a little bit of gold, so gives us all some experience, too. There's really no harm in it, I suppose. Okay, we need to get this village. Yeah, this the end of this map always been really weird. Never liked it. Don't understand why they go for such an anticlimactic ending. They could have at least put a colorful character as the, as the boss instead of just another generic general guy. Go, Asalo! Okay, so I need to heal him up before I attack this time around. Okay, let's go visit the village. The kingdom of Tracia was founded by a dragon named, named Dain. He took the divine Gugnir in his hand and took on the devil himself. Supposedly the founder of Leinster Kingdom, Crusader Noba, was Dain's younger sister. Okay, so Noba was actually a girl. I had no idea. Huh. I knew Narga was a girl, or at least she appeared as a woman, but it was never really... It was never really discussed. I thought all the Crusaders were male. Or well, most of them was. Alright. I think I'll play it safe here. And heal up uh, Asylo. Hit points, strength, speed, luck and defense. Wow, that's a really good level up. Holy fuck. That's an extremely good level up. 
And a level up for Layla. She's gonna get hit points and speed. That's nice. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Hit points, magic. Oh, crap me. Okay, can Azala take another hit? No, he can't. <sighs> I suppose it's gonna have to be Tristan then. Jesus Christ, that was really annoying. Fuck me. Glory to Trisha! Oh, I am so generic. I am dead now. That is really sad. Well, that... I can't believe I misclicked that. Well, I suppose Tristan needs the experience. And now he can simply sell the killer bow when Asala can buy it. I'm pretty sure Asala can afford it. The killer bow is not an expensive weapon. Alright, there's nothing really to do here. And no conversations or anything like that. As far as I'm concerned, no. So let's just seize the castle. Levin, Tracia's army is like nothing we've faced before. They fight with such intensity. Where does that come from? Well, for starters, Tracia is not as well off as other countries. In steep mount its steep mountain ranges make agriculture just about impossible. Simply having enough food to eat is a job in and, in and of itself. So men do work mercenary work, and the women take whatever work they can get. King Traban's methods may be diabolical, but his actions aren't all personally motivated. The soldiers of Tracia have sworn their loyalty to Traban because they believe he is their one true embacadmin? Is that so? Well, that explains it then. Of course, this by no means justifies invading other countries. Traban's idea of justice quickly loses its meaning outside of Tracia. For the people living peacefully in the north, he's nothing more than a despised aggressor. I know this is tough to make sense of, but don't let it sidetrack you from our mission. And t that is to remove Tracia's royal family from power and create an environment where people can live peacefully amongst themselves. Mm, Sultana, Mises Paul, have I been wrong all this time? Oh, Arion. I'm glad I'm protected by this yellow, invisible wall of plot. Oh well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of that chapter. Join us next time as we head into chapter 9. It's gonna be fun. See you next time, goodbye.